Hello yogis, my name is Jamie. Welcome to my channel, Jamie Kim Yoga. Today, I'm going to guide you through slow flow. It's literally slow flow. We'll get to stay in each pose a little longer and we'll flow slowly, consciously breathing. So let's get started. Find a comfortable seated position. Uh, you can find a Sukhasana, easy pose if you want to cross your legs, cross the legs. I always like to uh, put one shin in front of the other. So find the long spine on your mat. Let's close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, open the mouth, let it out. One more in through the nose. Fill up the lung, exhale, open the mouth, sigh it out. Now seal your mouth, breathe in and out through the nose. Start to lengthen the breath out. Begin to tune in with your breath and your body. One more full breath in and full breath out and slowly open your eyes as you take a as you take a deep breath in you're going to pop your chest forward and roll to the side and as you exhale round your spine chin to chest and to the left inhale forward again and I keep it moving just like this feel the spine Find a little more fluidity. Three circles here. And come back to neutral spine. Now reverse the circle. To the other direction. Shoulders away from the ears. One more circle. and slowly come back to center. Now, plant your hands in front of you, shift forward, come to all fours. Let's couple cat cow here. Inhale, lift your tailbone, drop the belly, chest high, gaze up. Exhale, round your spine, tuck the tailbone under, bring the chin to chest, hollow out the belly. Inhale, arch your spine, gaze up, look up, and exhale, pull the belly in, press the floor away, one more, inhale, and exhale. Slowly come back to the neutral tabletop position, extend your right arm forward, left leg back. If you have enough core strength, lift your left leg high. So take a moment to engage your whole core and the right fingertips reach forward, left heel reaches back. Bend your left knee, grab your right foot or reach. If you have the left foot, kick your foot away from your body as you roll that right shoulder open. Maybe gaze forward, lift the left knee a little higher, kick it hard for three, two and one release right hand down left knee down now switch left arm forward right leg back find the core pull the belly in gaze down for neutral neck and then bend your right knee reach towards your right foot or you can even grab it Kick your foot into your hand, roll the left shoulder open, perhaps gaze up, lift your right leg a little higher. Keep your belly engaged for three, two, and one. Slowly release both hands down. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back downward facing dog. Start to pedal it out, bend your right knee and the left knee. Move the hips and shoulders. Perhaps 
It could be your first down dog of the day. So find any movement that your body needs. And then lift your heels high, come high up on your tiptoes. Lift your tailbone really high towards the sky. And exhale, drop your heels over to the right. Left hand presses down. Inhale, come back to center. Heels high. And then both heels over to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Walk your feet all the way to the top of the mat. Bring the feet hips width apart. Inhale, hands on your shins. Pull the chest forward. Exhale, forward fold. We'll repeat a couple more times. Inhale, lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Slowly roll up the spine one and one bit at a time. Head comes last to standing pose, Tadasana. Palms facing forward, draw the belly in. Lengthen the tailbone down towards the earth. Find a neutral spine. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. You can bring the palms touch and gaze forward. Exhale, swan dive to fold, hinging from the hips. Keep your back flat. Inhale, halfway flat back. And exhale, forward fold. One more round. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Sweep the arms out and up. Gaze up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, arms up. Gaze up, lift the chest. Exhale, swan dive to fold. Inhale, halfway flat back. And exhale, both hands down. Right foot steps back, followed by left foot, high plank. Stick your shoulders over the wrist. Pull the belly in, slightly tuck the tailbone under. Press through the heels. For three, two, one. Feel free to lower your heels down for Chaturanga. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, bend your elbows. Slowly come down, bottom of the push-up, all the way down onto your belly. Untuck your toes. Shoulders away from the ears. Squeeze the elbows together. Inhale, baby cobra, just a halfway lift. Keep your elbows bent. And then look over your right shoulder. Let your left shoulder roll forward. Come back to center. Look over your left shoulder, right shoulder forward. And come back to center. Forehead down. On your next inhale, pull your chest through as you straighten your arms. Find a high cobra thighs down or thighs up for upper facing dog. Pull the pelvis forward. Take a full breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring the feet hips width apart. Rooting through the index fingers and index finger knuckles. Heels are heavy. Lift your tailbone high. One more full breath in. And full breath out. Bend the knees to look forward. Right foot steps up. And the left foot to meet the right foot. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Sweep your arms out and up. Gaze up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Down by your side. Sweep your arms up to the sky again. This time, grab your left wrist. Exhale, bend to right. Inhale, come back to center. Switch. Grab your right wrist, exhale, bend to left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, swan dive to fold. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, left foot steps back. Now, right foot steps back, high plank. 
inhale shift all the way forward come to your tiptoes exhale bend your elbows chaturanga with control inhale upper facing dog press the tops of the feet exhale downward facing dog couple more breath one more full breath in and long breath out bend the knees to look forward left foot steps up and then the right foot steps up inhale halfway flat back exhale forward fold inhale root to rise sweep your arms out and up gaze up and exhale hands to your heart now bend your knees to sit back and with your fingertips sweep the floor and raise your arms overhead into fierce pose utkatasana shift your weight towards the heels let your toes a little lighter see if you can bend your knees a little deeper pull the belly in take a full breath in exhale sweep the arms back and look down palms facing down inhale back to utkatasana arms up and exhale inhale arms up and exhale look down stay here for a little longer maybe you can come to the tippy toe here for three two one hands down heels down four fold inhale halfway flat back exhale flow through your vinyasa you can just simply step back to the plank if you're ready you can jump back to chaturanga i'm going to jump back here inhale upper facing dog and exhale downward facing dog take a full breath in exhale open the mouth side out from your down dog inhale right leg up to the sky bend your right knee stack the hips open it up and then start to circle the knee around a couple times one direction and the other direction inhale right leg up to the sky three leg dog exhale knee to nose shift forward squeeze and a right foot steps through next to your right thumb runners lunge stick your right knee over the right ankle and then start to bounce your hips up and down or you can rock for them back to open up the hip joint whatever you feel good in your body and I come back to runners lunge take a full breath in exhale straighten your right leg flex your right foot pyramid variation so both legs are straight you're folding over the right leg press the heel into the floor notice the sensation on your hamstrings one more full breath in and full breath out rebend your right knee come back to runner's lunge left hand down on the mat next to your right foot and right arm up to the sky twist your heart open stack the shoulders gaze up lift your back quite a little higher take a full breath in and a full breath out now look down as you spin your left heel to the pinky side right foot over the left foot side plank feel free to lower the left knee down find a modified version or you can stagger your, your feet or you can stack the feet you can even lift your right leg high you can look down for balance you can look up lift your 
hips a little higher towards the sky. One more full breath in. And exhale, right hand down, come to high plank, lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left side. Inhale, left leg up. Bend the knees, take the hips. And then start to circle the knee around a couple times in one direction and another direction. Inhale, left leg behind you, three leg dog. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward and step it through. Next to your left thumb. Find a runner's lunge. Again, feel free to bounce your hips up and down or shift forward and backward. Come back to runner's lunge. Inhale and exhale. Straighten your left leg, flex your left foot. Fold over the left leg. Keep your hips leveled. Engage the left quad. One more full breath in and full breath out. Rebend your left knee, come back to runner's lunge. Now right hand down, left arm up. Crescent twist. Gaze up towards the left fingertips. Energize that back quad a little more. One more full breath in. And full breath out. Now look down. Roll onto your pinky edge of your right foot. Left foot steps back. Side plank. Again, find your own variation. You can stagger your feet or lower the right knee down. Maybe you can lift your left leg high. Pull the belly in, lift the hips higher. Four, three, two, and one. Left hand down. Come to high plank. Exhale, lower. Chaturanga. Inhale, upper facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. Exhale out the mouth. Let it out. Inhale, right leg up to the sky. Three leg dog. Make sure you're squaring up the hips. Roll that right outer hip a little bit down. Flex your right foot and toes pointing down on the floor. Take a full breath in and exhale. Knee to nose, shift forward and step it through. Place your right foot right between your both hands. So right in the center of your mat and spin your back heel down. So you'll find heel to heel or heel to arch alignment as you open the hips to the left side. Inhale, rise all the way up to warrior two. Right knee is bent, left leg is straight, arms parallel to the floor. Gaze forward. And on your next inhale, right leg straight, arms up to the sky, palms touch, gaze up. And exhale back to warrior two. Bend your right knee, arms out to sides. Two more, inhale, gaze up. Exhale, back to warrior two. One more, inhale, lengthen, look up. And exhale. Stay here for a couple more breaths. Press into the pinky edge of your left foot and then squeeze the right outer butt cheek. Make sure your knee is directly over the ankle. Sometimes knee wants to fall forward inside of your ankle, but the knee is facing the same direction of your second toe. One more full breath in. 
and a full breath out. Right leg straight, flip the right palm, reach up and back to reverse triangle. Notice that stretch on your right side. Sometimes I like to grab my right wrist and then pull towards the back. One more breath. Take a full breath in and exhale. Now reach forward. You might want to bring your back foot a little bit closer and exhale, lower the right hand down on your shin or on the block, left arm up to the sky. Open your chest to the side, gaze up for a triangle pose, trikonasana. Engage both quads to lift the kneecap and perhaps extend your top arm forward. Lean your upper body back. Think about rotating the right rib, right side rib towards the sky a little more. One more full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, rise all the way to stand. Now turn your right toes in. You have toes in, heels out. Inhale, arms up to the sky, gaze up. And exhale, swan dive to fold. With the flat back into white leg four fold. Inhale, halfway flat back. And exhale, fold. With your peace fingers, grab your big toes. And as you bend your elbows, you can get a little more deeper posture here. Shoulders away from the ears. Press into the big toe mount. Crown of the head towards the floor. One more full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, halfway flat back, release your big toe. And then bring your left hand right under your face and then right arm up to the sky. I like to come high up on my fingertips as you rotate your torso to the right, twist. Make sure your hips are leveled. Sometimes our hip wants to follow as we twist. Lift your left hip a little more higher. Gaze up towards the right fingertips. One more full breath in, full breath out. Release, now switch. Right hand down. You can always use a block under your fingertips. Left arm up to the sky. Again, keep your hips leveled. So lift your right hip a little higher. One more breath. And release. Walk your hands towards your left foot. Turn your left foot forward, square up the hips, come to runner's lunge. Right heel is high. On your next inhale, arms up to the sky, crescent warrior. Scissor the inner thighs together, biceps by your ears, reach towards the sky. Full breath in and exhale, sweep the arms back and look down, palms facing down, chest forward. Inhale, back to crescent A, exhale, Sweep and inhale, rise. So this time, find a cactus arm, lift your chest, maybe gaze up, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and exhale, sweep. And then look forward, start to lift your right foot high, come to warrior three. You can always use both fingertips, take the standing L instead. From there, you can slowly float your hands up. Find any arm variation. You can do airplane arms 
or hands to pray, hands to the heart, or both arms forward, flex your right foot for three, two, one, standing, right foot, meet the left foot, mountain pose, inhale, arms up to the sky, gaze up, exhale, swan dive to fold, inhale, half a flat back, exhale, make your way back to Downward facing dog, if you'd like to flow through vinyasa, step back to plank or jump back to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a deep breath in and exhale out the mouth. Now lift your left leg behind you, three leg dog. Flex your left foot. Toes pointing down. Square up the hips. One more full breath in, reach. Exhale, needle nose, shift forward and squeeze. And then step your left foot forward, right between your both thumbs. Spin the right heel down as you open the hips to the side. Find a heel to heel or heel to arch alignment. Inhale, rise all the way to warrior two. Arms parallel to the floor. And inhale, left leg straight, arms up, gaze up, lengthen. And exhale, re-bend your left leg. Inhale, up again. Exhale, back to warrior two. One more, inhale up, and exhale. Notice the location of your knee. I want you to stack uh, your left knee directly over the left ankle. Gaze over the left fingertips. Fingertips are active. One more full breath in and full breath out. Flip the left palm, left leg straight, right hand on your right thigh, left arm reach up and back, reverse triangle. Again, feel free to grab your left wrist and then pull towards the top of your mat. Find a little more lengthening through the left side. One more full breath in and exhale, reach your left fingertips forward and lower the left hand down. I'd like to bring my feet a little closer and a right arm up, Trikonasana. Soften your bottom shoulder a little more and extend your top arm forward. One more full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, rise all the way to stand. Turn your left toes in. Find that toes in, heels out position again. Now interlace the fingers behind your back. Pull the fist towards the floor, roll the shoulders open. Lift your chest, hips forward, take a full breath in. Exhale, forward fold, hinging from the hips. Take your fist towards the sky or even up and over. Press into the outer edges of your both feet. Keep your belly in. Relax the head. This is also a great position to get upside down. So since we are a little warm now, if you have a headstand practice, you can uh, get upside down. Otherwise, you can stay here a little longer. I'll come into the headstand. 
plant your hands shoulder width apart and then pl uh, put your crown of the head on the floor as you lift your heels stick the hips over the shoulders squeeze the elbows together and lift your legs up And then slowly come down with control. Good. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Now bring your left hand down, right arm up. Another twist here. Inhale, open it up. Here you can find a half thread with your right arm. You can even grab your right ankle with your left hand and get a little more deeper. It's up to you. And slowly release, come back to center. Switch, right hand down, left arm up. Twist, feel free to find the half wrap or grab the left ankle. And slowly release. Inhale, half a flat back. Walk your fingertips all the way to the top of your mat. Turn your right toes forward. Find that runner's lunge. Square up the hips. Inhale, both arms rise. Crescent warrior. Lift the back quite a little higher. Take a full breath in. Exhale, sweep the arms back and look down, chest forward. We have two more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Inhale, last one. And exhale. And on your next inhale, fly into warrior three. Feel free to use the fingertips or block under your hands. A lot of times we have tendency to open up the hips, but warrior three, we want the squared hips. So try to roll that left hip down a little more. Pull the belly in. For three, two, one, come to stand, left foot down to meet the right foot. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky, gaze up, lift through your chest. Exhale, swan dive to fold. Inhale, half a flat back. Make your way back to downward facing dog. I'm going to take vinyasa. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out the mouth, let it out. <sighs> Inhale, right leg up to the sky. Exhale, right foot forward, outside of your right hand. So you'll have this wide stance and lower the left knee down. Turn your right toes out about 45 degrees. And then with your right hand, press the right thigh away as you open your chest towards the right side. Crooked monkey. You may stay here, maybe grab the back foot as you bend your left knee. You can pull your heel towards the glute or kick it away from you. One more full breath in and long breath out. Release your hands, both hands on the mat. Now, wiggle your right foot all the way to the left. And then lower your hips down, find your pigeon pose. Flex the right foot if you can. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, walk your hands forward. Start to settle in.
One more full breath in. And a full breath out. Walk your hands in, rise up. Now just lean onto your right hip and then face to the sides. Keep your right knee bent, left leg is straight. Left hand on your left shin, inhale, right arm up to the sky. Lengthen and exhale, fold, bend to the left. Right fingertips reach towards the left toes. You may stay here if you have more space, you can bring the left forearm in front of your left shin. And the right fingers grab the left foot and rotate your torso towards the sky. One more breath. And slowly rise. Bring your both palms in front of your, uh, at the top of your mat. And then just simply step back to high plank or downward facing dog. If you're in high plank, flow through the vinyasa. Now left side, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot outside of your left hand. Lower the right knee down. Turn your left foot out about 45 degrees. Now turn your body towards the left side. Left hand, press the left thigh away as you lean back. Feel free to bend the right knee, grab the right foot. You can pull it in for more quad stretch or kick it back to open the shoulder. One more breath. Release your foot if you have it. Now both hands on the mat. Wiggle your left foot all the way to the right. And then lower your hips down. Pigeon pose. Inhale, lift the chest with a square of the hips and exhale. Walk your hands forward. Notice your face. See if you're gripping your jaw. And then try to relax and soften the whole face. Even the little space between your eyebrows. Use your breath to work on the muscles. One more. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And deep breath out. Walk your hands forward not forward, walk your hands back, lift yourself up. Now lean into your left foot, turn your body towards the right side. Left knee is still bent, right leg is straight, right hand on your right shin. Left arm up to the sky, take a full breath in, lengthen and exhale, fold to the right. Rooting that left hip down, that way you can feel the better stretch on your left lower back. And also you can find a deeper variation here. Grab the toes. One more breath. And slowly release, inhale, rise. Just turn your body towards the front of the mat Legs forward. Slowly lower down on your back. Now plant your feet on the floor, about feet width apart, or a little bit wider than the hips. Arms by your side. Press the floor. 
Press down into the floor. Take a full breath in and lift your hips high. Lower back, middle back, upper back. You can interlace the fingers and then walk the shoulders towards each other. And then get a little more lift. Keep the belly engaged. Glutes are activated. One more full breath in. And exhale, slowly come down. We'll do one more back bend. Hands down, arms by your side. Inhale, lift. One more full breath in. And a full breath out. Slowly come back down. Hug the knees into the chest. Keep your tailbone down on the mat and rock side to side. Massage that lumbar spine. And come back to center. Bring the right knee in, left leg long. Take a full breath in. Exhale, twist. Take your right knee up and over to the left. Bump your hips to the right a little bit so you can have a little more space for the twist. Gaze over the right shoulder. One more breath. And slowly come back to center. Switch it out. Right leg on the floor. Bring the left knee in to the chest. Exhale, twist. Shift your hips to the left a little bit. And gaze over the left shoulder. And slowly come back to center. Now hug both knees into the chest. Lift your head and shoulders off the floor. Make yourself a tight little ball. Give yourself a really big squeeze and hug. Forehead to the knees. Take a full breath in, squeeze. And exhale, release everything out. Let your feet flat open. Palms are facing up. Relax your body. Make your way to Shavasana. Close your eyes. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, audible sigh out. There is nothing left to do. Just relax and rest. In this moment, right here, right now, Shavasana. Slowly bring the awareness back to your physical body. Begin to wiggle the fingers and toes. And roll the head side to side. 
reach your arms overhead, point your toes, give yourself full body stretch. Take a full breath in. And exhale, release, bend your knees, roll to one side, right or left, fetal position. Keep your eyes closed, press yourself up to seated position. Take one more full breath in and a full breath out. Slowly open your eyes. Thank you so much, yogis, for tuning in today, for joining me, uh, Slow Flow. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and be sure to subscribe to my channel and like the video. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Namaste.